Uh, hello everyone, this is uh, Russell Lowe speaking and uh, this is a video tutorial on how to uh, create a level in uh, CryEngine 3. Uh, you can see I'm at crydev.net, uh, that's where you need to go to download the free SDK. Uh, before you can actually use it, uh, you need to register and uh, be able to log in. So uh, I would recommend doing that first and then going uh, to this button clicking on that and uh, hitting the download here. Uh, I did this a little bit earlier today with this version uh, which is just actually about a week old. Um, you may need to download also some other packages to make it work on your system so if it doesn't go uh, as I'm about to demonstrate then it's likely that you'll need to um, uh, download one, of, uh, one or both of these. Um, this one and this one here. Um, have a look at the SDK facts and uh, some uh, system requirements is there, uh, are there as well. Uh, so what I've done is uh, downloaded it. Let me go to here. Uh, you can see I've downloaded uh, the zip file. Uh, it's about 1.4 gigs. Uh, and I've created a folder called Electronic Arts and then Crytek inside my program files x86 folder. Uh, I saved it to there and then I uh, right clicked and um, uh, extracted it to uh, a folder of the same name and then straight away I uh, renamed it Arch1101 mm -hmm. ah. ah, I have it open let me close that right so this is a spelling mistake on a test I made a little bit earlier, but there you go. Uh, so this folder here and this one uh, is a zip version, they're the same uh, except for the name. So I've just changed that so I know uh, that it's uh, the particular folder that I'm going to hand in for um, Arch1101. Uh, so open that one up and then go into the bin64 folder and you can find an editor exe and that's the device, uh, that's the uh, bit of software we're going to use to create our level. Uh, if you right click on this uh, you can say send to desktop and that's what I do so I don't have to dig through all of these uh, folders um, to find it every time I want to open it up. Um, so that's what I'll do right now, double click on it and open it up and uh, you'll get a screen here that will ask you for a password. Now I might have to um, pause this uh, video for a second because um, CryEngine doesn't like it when I uh, just pause there very quickly because uh, CryEngine doesn't like it when you're recording the screen and uh, and it's trying to log in for some reason. Uh, so these are the same username and password that you use to log into crydev.net. Uh, hit login and it'll open this up and it's opened it up full screen again great uh, so um, there's a few things off the screen at the moment but I'll bring them onto the screen in just a second uh, actually I'll pause right uh, that didn't quite work so I'm gonna have to do it a little bit later uh, arch 1101 uh, video tutorial there we go uh, change that to there and that to there and you can see that we're going to end up with a terrain size of just over two kilometers uh, square and hit OK and this is going to give us a um, project to uh, assign it to or identify it with and you need to put uh, global share so that other people can uh, share it and open it up and take a look around uh, go OK and then uh, generate the surface texture, leave all that default, hit OK again and we've got some water um, and not a lot else. So I'll take this opportunity to uh, shift the screen around so I'll pause that video again. Right this is the, uh, uh, the full extent of the screen, these are the few things that you missed out on seeing before because it opened up uh, a little bit large. Uh, what I'm going to do is firstly go to the terrain and go edit terrain and then bring that over to my screen as well 
I'm going to hit modify and I'm going to get, say set terrain max height and I'm going to set that to 256. Uh, so that's 256 metres high on a, a 2 square kilometre uh, bit of terrain, that's, that's pretty high. Um, but a 1 kilometre high is, <laughs> is a little bit out of the question. Uh, so I'm going to hit generate terrain now and leave all of these as defaults. And you can see I've got some terrain going on in the background. I'm going to hit OK there and I'll close. And there we go, there's my um, uh, there's my bit of terrain that I've um, uh, that I've created. I'm going to pop down here and uh, go Control G to jump into the world. Uh, I'm going to roll my middle mouse button backwards so I get rid of that gun uh, and uh, hit the F1 key and I can uh, walk around. Now I'm using the uh, mouse to look around and pull it backwards and forwards to look up and down and I'm using the W key to move forward, uh, the A key to let go left, the D key to go right and the S key to go backwards. So I jump back into first person view again and those are my hands <laughs> and um, my creepy hairy hands and uh, and as you can see I'm just looking around with the mouse and sort of wandering around. Um, oh, that's me again and hit escape to jump out of it. I'm right clicking uh, to look around in the editor. S key to move backwards, A and D keys to move uh, side to side and the W key to move forward. So, and I'm holding down the right mouse button and just sort of basically flying over the place. Uh, if I want to speed up, I can uh, hit the shift key and uh, if I want to fly into the air, I can just look down and go backwards or look up and go forwards. Um, so that's a little bit of navigation stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you some stuff on how to get rid of this um, uh, this texture and put some trees in and modify the terrain, but that'll be the next, uh, that'll be the next video. Cheers.